in this video I'm going to show you how to transform this data into this data let me compare the two sheets and explain to you what is the difference between the two sheets so in the first sheet we have one row assigned to each respondent the first row contains information on the column headings which as you know in the class we studied there are 10 brands car brands that we are uh, using in this example starting with infinity g20 ending at mercury cafe each respondent has rated each car on a scale of 1 to 9 and these scores appear in each cell so b2 cell means that respondent 1 has rated infinity g20 4 on a scale of 1 to 9 similarly ford thunderbird is rated 7 on a scale of 1 to 9 by respondent 1 we need to transform these data into something which looks like this on sheet 2 in this case each respondent's preference score for each car is now in one row so if you pay attention here this score was in b2 now it is in c2 and Ford thunderbird was in c2 now it is in c3 and so on so basically if you pay attention to these 10 observations they all belong to the same person same respondent one and all these scores were displayed horizontally in sheet one so if going back to sheet one all these scores appear here horizontally in other words we need to transpose these scores for every individual and just display all the scores in one, one line similarly uh, you also want to identify which car this respondent was evaluating and that's why the car names should also appear in this column so first I'm going to show you how to get these preference scores in a single column that is our uh, most important goal of this uh, exercise so I'm going to go to sheet 1 and I'm going to insert blank columns between all the columns that are displayed here so in the first insert a column like this and so on so you will be inserting column 10 times because there are 10 car brands so depending on your type of problem that you are dealing with you will insert the number of columns And finally for one for mercury capital all right now the next thing you want to do is you want to number these columns so the idea here is that remember that g20 score is now going to appear as the first score Ford Th Th Thunderbird score is going to appear as the second score Audi 90 score is going to appear as third score and so on so I'm going to just create a numbering here one two three for to for Audi Toyota gets four five six seven eight nine and ten so when I transpose this row into a column I know that four will correspond to one seven will correspond to two and so on similarly the observation for the second respondent for G20 is going to be 11th observation Thunderbird is going to be 12th 13th 14th and so on so we do it for all the 10 brands and you need to do it only for the first two rows after that there is a way in Excel by which you can just fill in the rest of the uh, values in this remaining cells so you at this point you select 1 and 11 together and simply double click on this uh, square button here so this is automatically going to fill up all the 
all the values up to the last cell. Similarly, you will do it for all the 10 columns. This is going to give you Seven hundred and fifty numbers like these because there are seventy five respondents and each of them is evaluating ten brands. So in all, you will have seven hundred and fifty uh, such numbers. But as you can see, that with this function, it is it is uh, quite fast and accurate. So I'm doing it for all of them. right now after this we have a little bit uh, manual stuff going on so what we are going to do now is that we are just going to copy this entire sheet here uh, we are not going to take the respondent ID we are just going to take from the uh, cell B1 up to the last one which is mercury Capri and select right up to the bottom and just take this and paste it is in another sheet let me increase the size here like this and after this in fact we didn't even require the first row so I'm just going to delete the first row and now I'm going to simply keep on copying the table the rest of the table Okay, leaving out the first two columns, I left out the first two columns, copied everything from the third column up to the end. I cut that and I go right at the bottom of the table and paste it there. So your table should look like this. That means you retain the first two columns and then you cut and pasted the rest of the entire table under the two columns. Now you are going to repeat this process for the rest of the car brands. So I'm going to cut the table and paste it right at the bottom. So this has been for fifth one. Just be careful while you are doing it if you lose any concentration here there is a good chance you will make an error and if you make an error here it is going to give you incorrect results or you may have to uh, start from the beginning I prefer it that way rather than identifying where was the last time I made the mistake and that's it this way you have arranged all your values now in a uh, in two columns so now from this point onward it is quite easy what you need to do is simply select these two columns so all 750 observations go in sort so sort would be here and in sort you have to say ascending and once you do this you will see that now the column A has all the values ascending 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and you'll realize that these numbers which you see now 4, 7, 8, 3, 4, 5, 5, 1, 4, 5 these, these 10 numbers, first 10 numbers belong to respondent 1 so let's take a look 4, 7, 8, 3, 4, 5, 5, 1 1 and 4 here so these numbers are indeed the same as the first row. The first row basically appears here in, a, in its entirety as the first 10 observation in this column. So this is the way you are going to transform it. Now the next thing would be to get the respondent IDs. So this task is, is not that complicated. You need the... so. Uh, we are I'm going to just delete all these observation here clear content in this one and then now uh, remember that first 10 observations 
belong to respondent 1 the next 10 belong to respondent 2 and so on so to do this what I prefer to do is I go back to the original sheet respondent sheet just copy the respondent IDs from here we are on sheet 1 so I'm just going to copy the 75 IDs and I'm going to paste them here now as you can see clearly the problem is that when I pasted them here it shows up as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but in reality we wanted these as 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 and then it starts from 2 2 2 2 so this is not happening what we have is just 1 to 75 and that's it we have the 75 number however what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this column and keep on pasting it in the same same column so this I'm going to do nine more times and if you want to save time you can just go up and copy the entire column so that that is also possible for example now I have uh, half of all the observations uh, here uh, 375 so I can simply go right up to the top copy the entire column go right up to the bottom and paste it here and as you can see that now I have 750 ta uh, tags already um, pasted now select only the first column don't touch the second column remember second column is where you have all your uh, scores already transposed so you are not going to touch it but only on the first column you are going to sort it as ascending now it will ask you Excel asks you whether you want to expand this selection you say no you continue with the current selection and then only sort so when you do this now you realize that you have one 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 so this is the way it is done so you are going to get ten ones ten twos and so on and each one of them correctly corresponds to the rating they have given for the car now similar to the these IDs that we have put you may want to also put the car brands now here car brands would be G20 Ford Thunderbird so that they look like this right so to do that I'm not going to show you the exact same procedure because it would be duplication of the work but this is this is what you will be doing at the end of the day you will be pasting the car brands all 10 of them let's say here and then copy and paste them maybe five times and then copy the entire column for the rest rest of the cells and and uh, if you want to use any any specific actually it, you don't even have to sort that right so you will just keep on pasting them and that's it then you are done so it it will ultimately look like this so I, I can without instructions I'm just going to show you now what I'm going to do here I'll just copy the car brands which are in the column and I'm going to simply paste them here 10 times so you have to just do that so remember that this this will not be 10 times this will be 75 times right so it is going to be a little boring but that's fine it, as long as this does your job So I'm just copying the entire columns and pasting them so that it saves my time. So I'm already at 320. Now I'm at 300, uh, right at the bottom 640. If I paste anything now, it is going to be too many observations, but that is fine. I can simply delete the ones that I don't want. As a clear content and that's it this is it this is this is how you will structure your data so now this is the respondent this is the score and this is for the car which we considered here and similarly you can now if you want to add factor 1 factor 2 scores here you will do exactly the same procedure if you have any questions email me on malshe at sec.edu that is m a l s h e at the rate sec e s s e c dot edu thank you